Valorant have now officially announced their 22nd agent in the game. His name is, of course, Gecko. He will be an initiator, but he does things a little bit differently around here. Gecko, unlike any other agent in Valorant, will be using little Pokemon creatures to do all of his dirty work for him. But before we get into that, I do have an awesome announcement to make. I will, of course, be playtesting Gecko on my stream on the 6th of March. That's this Monday at 5 p.m. UK time. That's 9 a.m. Pacific time for all of my NA viewers. And, of course, 10.30 p.m. for my Indian viewers. So make sure you're going to be there on stream. That's on Monday, the 6th of March. It's honestly going to be awesome. I'm going to be playing with a lot of content creators again. Same old thing, early access is going to be really, really cool. All right, with that out of the way, I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. These are Gecko's abilities, and this is how you should be playing him in-game. So starting with the first ability, it's called Mosh Pit. It creates a giant molly on the ground. This doesn't damage the enemy. However, as you can see, that light circle within, once the molly pulsates, if it explodes, if anybody's within the light green area of the molly, they will instantly die. On the outside, I believe they take 100 damage. So in that dark green, it's 100 damage. They won't die from it. Moving on to the second ability, we've got Dizzy. Dizzy is this little worm bird thingy that gets thrown into the air. Once you throw Dizzy up in the air, it gives you a little bit of time for him to cook. Now, once he's cooked and he's ready to blow, he will splat on the enemy screen. So this kind of works as a flash. The enemy can still see around the edges, so they're not fully blind. We have basically ruined their vision completely. So obviously, you can use this to peek. Just treat it like a normal flash. It will work great through smokes and on retakes or just pushing into sites in general. So again, as an initiator, solid ability to have. On top of that, there's one more quick point about Dizzy, and this was pointed out by the Riot devs during the Tarek stream as well. Dizzy can actually be picked back up once you've already thrown it. I believe there's a 10 second cooldown. This means you can use Dizzy six, maybe seven times within one round if you're super quick at throwing it and picking it back up, which is kind of insane. There's not a single agent in Valorant where they can flash six times in one round or have the potential to. So this is going to be a game changer, honestly, as long as you keep throwing him and keep picking it back up without dying you should be able to abuse this a lot moving on to the next ability and the star of the show is of course wingman aka lil bro lil bro is basically your all-round guardian when it comes to playing gecko it can be used to do a naruto run and run towards the enemies and then do a clap which stuns the enemy kind of like a breach stun so this is again obviously super useful as an initiator you're pushing into sight you now have a flash you have a mosh pit and you now have a stun as well on top of all of that but of course the best part about lil bro or wingman is that he can plant and not only plant the spike but can actually defuse the spike as well this is honestly an absolute game changer in valorant no longer will i have to constantly take the spike as sage and run into sight for my teammates hoping that they protect me because now we have little bro here so it's all going to be down to gecko to just constantly hold the spike and i genuinely could not be happier about this like the smile on my face is so real right now I just can't wait to not have to listen to Sage take the spike every single round. I, I feel blessed. I feel blessed, guys. And lastly, moving on to the ult, we're going to be taking a look at his ability called Thrash. Thrash is basically just this wriggly little fish on the ground. It will go towards the enemy, and if it hits the enemy, it acts like a Killjoy ult, so it just basically detains them, and it lasts for 5 seconds. So you have 5 seconds to go run down and kill the enemy if you ult on them. Now, this looks like a really easy ability for the enemies to kill, so I would be careful with this. Make sure you're using it correctly. Try pair it with other uh, utility, you know, flashes, stuns, whatever. However, I will say I like the fact that unlike the Killjoy ult, you don't have to wait for a timer. You can just throw it out, try to go for the stun. So this would be really good in kind of retake situations where there aren't that many enemies left on site. Also, just saying that, can you imagine getting Killjoy ulted, having to wait for the full Killjoy ult, and then getting Thrash ulted, then having to wait the same thing? Oh my god, dude. It would be insane. Getting detained twice in one round is now a possibility. And I think this game's going to get kind of painful. All right, so as promised in the title, we will now be taking a look at in-game footage of Gecko. This was all taken from the Tarik game that was played just before the finals. I must say it was really, really enjoyable to watch. And it was also really cool to actually see how Gecko will be played. So I'm going to share that with you guys right now. I'm mainly focusing on Little Bro because I think he's absolutely hilarious. So I'm just going to show you some clips of that. And do keep in mind as well, if you want to see full gameplay and you want to see me using Gecko, just come to my stream, twitch.tv forward slash float ascending. The link will be in the description and I'll be streaming at 5 p.m. UK time on Monday, 6th of March. Let's check out some in-game footage. So this is the first in-game proper footage that we have of Gecko and how he's actually going to be played in a real comp game. So here we see FRT throwing out a mosh bit. I don't know if he meant to do that, but here comes the little man. So they've put a cove ability down on site and now they're using Wingman to try and plant. You can see Tarek clocks onto this. He runs to the site and instantly kills little man. Unfortunately, I wanted to see him plant straight away, but we didn't get that just yet. 
So now you can see the little man is just there, blinking dead on the ground. The spike is already out in sight. Now we get to see how Wingman is actually used to push into a site rather than just carry the spike. Here we see him run across mound and towards sea site. And as you can see, he stunned three enemies. So if he had a jet dash into the enemies, this would have been so easy to clear and get one, two, or maybe all three kills. I honestly think this is going to be a game changer for certain maps, especially if you pair it with the right combos and your team works well together to try and succeed in comp. Within the same round, we will now see Tarek trying to perform a defuse using Wingman for the first time. So... Here we can see the spike is planted on a site. Tarek's trying to find the spike so they can pop Wingman. He finds the spike. Wingman goes down onto the spike. You can see he hops onto it. But what we figured out is if you do an Astra pull on site whilst Wingman is there, he does actually just burst and he will die. So he won't be able to stick to the fuse whilst an Astra pull is there, which is good to know. So keep that in mind whilst you're playing. Now, once again, we get to see Little Man. Look at him go. Wingman running to plant on B site. Unfortunately, wasn't successful once again. Honestly, guys, please keep this in mind. He can be killed super easy and you might lose the spike. So as hilarious and as cute as he is, just try not to throw your comp games. Because I can see so many people doing this and then the comp game just, just being over and people raging. Now we're on C site. We're going to see Tarek actually throw down Wingman to go for the plant. Here he is. Beautiful. Look at that plant. He turns into like a little blob afterwards. I don't know what that's about, but that's when it's a great situation to use him. So you don't have to put yourself in danger. If you've got a safe plant for Wingman, you can just throw him out and then you can hold the side to readjust to get a flank coming in like we see right here. I think what's awesome about Wingman is what we're about to see here. So if there's a smoke in the way, you can actually chuck him down. And now the enemies almost have to go and peek the spike. So you can fully pull the enemies out of their position even when they're playing after plant, just by using Wingman correctly timed and then holding a certain angle. Although I will say what happened in this round earlier was super smart from Tarek. He threw down Wingman to go for a plant within a smoke and then he used this Thrash ult to go into sight and follow up so that they can't destroy Wingman whilst he's planting. I really like this play. If this was paired with a Flash or a Jet Dash in to get that trade on the Thrash ult as well, this would have been absolutely insane. So that's all that I'm going to be showing for today. I just wanted to get you as excited as I am for Gecko and show you what we know about his abilities so far and how he looks in game and how he's played in game. Once again though, if you want to see actual gameplay from me on Gecko and you want to see it live come to my stream on monday the 6th of march at 5 p.m uk time just translate that to whatever time zone you're in for you of course it's going to be super fun early access always is just playing with other content creators and trying out new material as well as the battle passes and of course oni 2.0 we're going to be playing with oni 2.0 so you're not going to want to miss this i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative and with that i'll see you in the next one